Okay, Freedom Fighters, we are back once again. If you guys recall the hinge video that I made, this is the piece that I made for the hinge. And I'm going to make a boom clasp for this bad boy. But first we have to do some design work, which I love design work. This is part of the jewelry adventures. Okay, so design work is, to me, always an adventure because you never know how it's going to turn out. But you know it's going to turn out cool because... Um, you are confident in your abilities and that's kind of, that's what, that comes with practice guys. And that's what we're doing always is practicing. This is practice. Are we talking about practice? We're talking about practice. Practice? I did this already. I cut these with shears. Very random. So this is what I'm going to do. I am going to cut, oop, cut these off. Like kind of like solder, I guess. See, how do you do that without chopping your fingers off? Don't chop your fingers off in front of your friends. So let me show you a little bit of what my idea is. This is just an idea that I have. I have no idea if it's going to work. I've never seen this. But what I, what I want to do is create these little arcs. I, th I thought about how dolphins look when dolphins are swimming. And they go over the water like that. <laughs> thought each one of these is like its own little dolphin energy and this is how i'm gonna do it friends boom okay can you guys see that see that space underneath can you guys see the space there's gonna be so i'm gonna do this all over this we're gonna go little arcs like dolphins is that a cool idea or is that dumb? Just do a bunch of them. Do you guys see the vision, friends? This is where being weird is really good for art because you think weird. Things, weird ideas. All ideas are weird. And then they become beautiful whenever you execute them. And then you drop them all. Okay, but you guys get the point. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do, guys. Uh... And then we'll do the boom class will be a, probably a separate video because that's I want to try to keep these videos short and sweet, concise and to the point, because I don't want you guys to get bored. I want you guys to like continue to be uh, to I want you guys to learn and I want you guys to be inspired and all that kind of stuff, because I know I get inspired when I watch people's videos, whenever they're especially when they're killing it. I'm like, yeah, boy. OK, moving on. I recorded guys but what i did was i flattened this out i decided that i was gonna i was gonna work on a curve and then i decided that i don't want to i don't have to that i'm not going to because a lot of times i'll work on a curve whenever i put rails on it and i want for it to already be bent and then i'll work on a curve but this is there's no reason why i have to work on a curve which is a little bit more difficult a little bit more of a challenge but uh if you didn't i don't know if it recorded earlier but basically what i'm doing is i'm using my half round pliers to give it some forging get a nice significant arc because i know that once i put it on the curve and i start to bend it it's gonna the arc is gonna bend out with the stretching of the of the curve i think it's gonna bend out i'm going to put it on the file and make sure the bottom is flat a nice flat bottom so that i can sit it on there solder that down we're going to do all of them <laughs> and that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to get this ready get everything prepared and then i'll bring you guys back all right gladiators look at that i don't know if you guys can appreciate it from that angle let's look at this look at that i'm just mocking it up seeing what it might look like we're going to try it, guys. I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to try. I'm going to take each one of these that, I, that I've that i chosen. These are, the, these are the guys that are going to be in the game. These guys over here, they're kind of on the bench. So we're going to go ahead and keep these guys in the game. And I'm going to clean each one of these up. And uh, yeah, buddy. So this is just an example of what it may look like. Let's keep pushing, man. Keep it leaning toward moving forward, friends. Okay, I uh, sanded this side and 
what I decided what we're going to do for these arches is tin this because I thought, man, if I put solder on the feet of each one of those arches, once that solder is on melts onto those feet, that solder is not going to melt flat. It's going to melt like a ball ish. It's going to have a dome to it. And then those arches will never sit on this because they'll want to fall over and then <clears throat> I'll get farmer mad. You know what farmer mad is? Oh, nobody gets madder than farmers. Believe me. Out there working on the fence and accidentally cut the tip of your finger off and come in to start punching holes in the wall because you can't find the damn butterfly band-aids. <sighs> farmer mad. Farmer mad. You guys will be like, oh, I got farmer mad. Oh man, I got, that thing didn't stick. Not so mad. I got farmer mad. All right, guys, I got this going. I uh, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Here we go, friends. We're we're gonna we're watching for this uh, solder to kind of want to respond. I'm gonna start over. I don't want those hinges to fall off. Did that with hard solder, if you recall. Let's get this to coat like frosting. No matter where the feet of those uh, archers are, hopefully they'll be closest in solder. I don't want any clumps in my tinning because that's going to make it difficult for those feet, <clears throat> the feet of those arches to really want to sit, you know what I mean? They're gonna, I don't want my arches to want to be falling all over the place like a bunch of drunk winos. We got this. This is important over here. Okay, I think we're good. Cool, that's a pretty not, not too bad of a tinning job, friends. All right, Juanito's Roseville, this is the tinned. There's not any right there, but hopefully um, that'll be fine. So this is what it looks like, and I know that it's gonna it's not gonna be very clean underneath the arches but I'm gonna have sulfur liver of sulfur is gonna be under the bottom so I know that the shiny parts of the bracelet are gonna be the tops of the arches and as the arches go down into the darkness the very feet of the arches are not gonna be polished because they're gonna be covered with liver of sulfur and um, through the polishing process we're not probably not gonna want to get down there I, I it's gonna create depth darkness underneath and the shine of the in my mind I can see it it's really hard to describe with words, but so far this is what we have, friends. And I'm not doing real well yet. <laughs> Cannot leave you guys out on this one. All right, here we go. I put flux on it. That's what it's. It's not too hot yet, that's why it's still uh, powder white. But once that flux starts to turn black, we know that we're getting close to the temperature desired. Those little arches are very, they're susceptible to melting. So we wanna really concentrate our heat to underneath edge. It's on the genius wire, so we're, we're not in direct contact too much with the block. Got to be careful. I don't want to get those hinges. I don't want those hinges to fall off. I want to think at that end. I think I saw some solder run, friends. I think we're good. So we're going to steer away from the, the hinges. Now we're going to work our way down. Come on, friends. Respond, solder, respond. I think it did. Right there. Let's keep working, let's keep moving. Adventures, guys, we're on an adventure right now. We don't know, this could be a disaster. We have no idea. We think, we believe in ourselves. I think we can do this. I feel like I should have my heat just a little higher. But I'm kind of apprehensive to do that because I don't want to, when I flash the top, I don't want these arches to melt. Come on, 
man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't play with me, Smokey. Okay, we got this. Let's get this. I think we got that right in this area right here. Saw some action. Please give me some action, Johnny. Come on. I think I got some action there, guys. I, I'm not convinced about this arc right here. <gasps> it collapsed. Can I move it? It might be what it is, guys. Uh, I don't know. Let's look. Let's look. <sighs> okay, guys. All right, guys. We did have one casualty. This arch right here fell off. But we have to know, right? We have to know. Put that over here. But this is basically what we're looking at, friends. I don't know. If... Let me examine. On, on. I'll... This one didn't stick. I should have moved the block and then got the other side. Because you can see where the torch was on this side. This side got stuck, but this side did not. Because I forgot I had a freaking rotating table. I've been talking about getting this rotating table for so long and I finally have it and then I forget I have it whenever I'm in the when I'm in the trenches. So this is where we're at, guys. We're gonna keep working, man. Alright, torture lovers. Here we go again. We're gonna try this the second time. If you guys like the torture as much as I do, you're in the right place. Here we go, friends. Here we go. Let's hope for the best. The one I'm a little concerned about, guys, is this guy right here. He's not really on the very full. I don't want him to fall over. The flux, fortunately, kind of acts as like a mild adhesive. It'll hold him kind of in place a little bit, which is kind of helpful. Okay, we're looking, guys. We're just trying to slowly bring this to temperature. It's a slow procedure, friends. I'm sorry. I'm really using my eyes, guys. Really looking at solder. Looking for a flash. Okay, I did. All right, guys. Oh, man. I think I got a 99 out of 100 on that one and I'll show you why. Well, maybe 95, 95. So this is what we have, friends. Um, the reason why 95, if you can see in the side of that arc right there, see how it, it got flat right there. The arc collapsed. There we go. See how the arc collapsed and it went flat right there. I was thinking about pulling that off, but it was so soldered. I'm not getting that off, so I think I'm gonna have to live with that. I might cut it. I could cut it right there with my saw and then file that down so you can't even tell that it ever happened, but, um, and I, I don't think I will. It's possible. It's an option, but I'm looking at it. Oh crap, one fell out. That's all right, that's all right, that's all right. It's just, okay, this one's not on. So we're learning, guys. We're this is not on. So we know we got that one. So we'll go back. We got more of them on. And this is the one that I wasn't sure about. We're not going to give up, friends. We are not going to give up. I'll work it. I'm going to get it, guys. I'm not going to take I'm not going to take no for an answer. So I'm going to work with that. I might have to f make this skinnier so that it fits on there because that one is, see how it's budding up right in the way? I don't know if you can tell. I'm looking through the viewfinder. I can't, I don't even know what I'm looking at and I'm looking at it in real life, so. But I think it's possible. I'm not quitting. <clears throat> All right, friends, you guys are on the very tail end of this. I, uh, I added some more arches. I'm just, I put a couple pallets of solder under there. Just hoping. Uh oh, somebody's calling me. 
I am not gonna break my concentration for this. For a telemarketer. Leave a message. Busy. Delicate procedure, delicate procedure. Come on, lay down, pallet of solder, lay down. Don't melt arches. Damn, 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 damn. Come on. Oh, let's just confirm over here. Johnny Nogas and the Funky Bunch. Bam. Let's go right there. Let's just be sure. Let's just be sure, guys. No mistakes, no room for error, no mistakes. Come on, come on. Boom, I feel good about that. Feel good about that, I feel good in there. I'm, do I feel good in there, guys? Now that I turned it around, I wonder if right in there. <sighs> come on, friends, come on. Let's be patient, but let's be smart. Man, that I don't think that's is that an optical illusion or did that piece pop up? Don't stick to my tweezers. Working the interior arc right here. Arch. This has the last friends. We want this piece to be somebody's forever piece. Flash, flash, flash. There's a piece of solder and it does not want to relent. There it did. It relented. Oh, gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, aged about 10 years in that one. Just quenched it. This is what we're looking like, friends. Manipulating. I feel, I hear something loose. Wait, am I tripping? Yep, I was not tripping. It's that middle one. Again. Okay. We're going to heat this again. And we're going to... I don't know what I'm going to do, guys. Man. I'm sorry, guys. I'm doing my very, very best. I'm going to get this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pickle this. Clean it so it gets clean in there a little bit. There might be some gunk in there that's, that's not letting me this hold. Everything else hold nicely. I just need that middle center piece. All right, friends, this is where we're at right now. I, I, uh, this is what it's looking like, guys. They're not all down. This one is still up. Wait, no, not that one. This is up on this very edge right here. Um, and this one right here in the middle is still up. So that one and that one are the next ones. I'm not sure what to do, guys. I'm close. So I'm going to continue working. We're getting there. I'm, I'm in for the long haul, guys. We're not going to quit on this bad boy. We're going to make it happen. All right, homies. Uh, this is what it turned out to be. Pretty cool. Um, I learned that uh, when there's a lot of solder mess, and I had to put a lot of, like, it was really hard to get these middle ones to stick. I'd heat it really hard from the bottom. They just didn't want to stick. I had to put a lot of solder there. They kept popping off. It was just a pain in the ass. Kind of a solder mess, dudes. I mean, it's on there. It's very, it's on there. Really, everything's on there really good. But there is some solder mess under there. And I was anticipating doing liver of sulfur underneath. But I don't know if liver of sulfur can distract from that crazy solder mess down there. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? uh fax me fax me if you have any ideas <laughs> but uh i think i'm gonna just try silicone wheels with my flex shaft and just try to clean this up and smooth it as much as i can and accept it friends because i think that's all i can do at this point boom and then it's gonna have a clasp the side clasp can go right here I have a little bit of space right here to uh put the 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 uh the I don't even know what it's called.
to put the, what do they call the little swingy thing that clicks over the, my brain's fried guys. I think this, this took a lot out of me. I think this is going to be one segment of making this. And then the second segment is going to be of me creating the boom clasp. The slide clasp. This is what it is, dudes. I'm not really incredibly pleased with it. It's all down. I mean, it's a great style. I learned some things. Um, I don't know. I, But it's very, very strong. It's going to be good.